model driven also provide the capability to do some automation using the capability of workflows workflow are, is the concept that runs inside the dataverse which is used to do some sort of an, of an automation hey everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classic power app this is the part 8 of the model driven series and here we will discuss and create the workflows before creating the workflow let's understand workflow is used to do any type of an automation in our system that workflows can be created by using the two different approach the first approach is using some code and the second approach is out of the box capability of our dataverse in this video we will design a very basic workflow using the out of the box capability so let me just take you to my screen as I said, it's the Dataverse capability. So we'll go inside the solution and then at the top we have this new and as this workflow is the part of an automation. So we go inside the automation. We have cloud flows, custom connect, desktop flow and the processes. In the processes, we have this action, process, flow and workflows. So we'll select our workflow and we give a name let's say i'm just creating a very basic is like based on the student name email would be created with the same name okay so we'll say create or we will say generate generate email address which table we want that workflow to start with so we'll want it to start from the student table we will go and check our student table and then whether we want it to start from the blank or from the template so let's say we want it to start from blank we'll click on this create and then it will open the workflow designer for me here you can see this one is similar to that of your business rule and your business process flow like here you have the option to do some save close activate okay so here on this middle screen you can see your name your workflow name activate as, as a process which entity it will start from in which category it lies what is the scope and when it will start when do you want it to start whether you want to start when a record is created when you want it to start when a record is updated okay so based on your requirement you can design your workflow so let's take example we want the email to be created when the student is created so we'll say when a record is created and then we will need a step that step would be update a record so we'll say update record once you click on this update record it will ask which table so it already click selected student table okay so we say set this property what field we would like to update so do we need anything inside the name no we don't want to update anything inside the name age no we want to generate the email based on the name that is passed in the name field so what we'll do we'll need to pass the dynamic content into this email so here from this right screen we can see we have this dynamic value option so we'll say look for student table and which column we, we need this name column add and then we'll say okay we get this name here we'll say underscore three two one at the rate gmail.com rest all things remains the same i'm not interested in confirming that so let me just close this save and close here i can see I, my workflow has one step 
that step is updating the record i have so many steps also if i want to add some sort of a condition i can do that if i want to update i want to assign if i want to send an email i can do that too if i want to run any child workflow that i can also do from here or if i want to stop the workflow i can do that too okay if you want this workflow to be used as a child workflow or as well you can select this portion as a child process so that this workflow can be used as a child from any other workflow but right now i'm not interested in that so that's why i'm just not making it this true and then i will simply click on this save once i hit on this save i can activate this activate also from this left side section you can see we have common and in the process sessions you can see all the logs whenever your workflow has triggered and make its job so let's try to test it whether it is working or not so we'll go back to our app and then we'll refresh our tab And then let's try to play our app. We'll hit display. We'll create a new student. Okay, some okay. Now I will create a new student. Let's say student name is Jack. Okay, and I'm passing some age let's say some 21 and date of birth and then i'm just saving and closing i am not passing any email just save and close it as i hit on this save and close i can see that there is no email here and if i go to my process and then in this process sessions if i just try to refresh it it says that my workflow has completed its job so let me go back to my table and refresh my view as i as i can see now the email is populating here this email is written from my workflow and i can also check that logs from here if you want to go deeper into that you can click on a particular log and then check its details like this okay so that's how you can design the workflows okay and that's the the basic one that i have created if you want to update your workflow you can't update it directly here you can see everything is disabled you need to first deactivate your workflow deactivate then your things would be in editable then you can edit your workflow okay so that is all we have in the workflow this one is the out of the box workflow that we can configure inside the dataverse but there is one more workflow that we can we can write using the code okay so thank you all thanks for watching this video and if you want to build some complex workflows you can try to explore this concept on your own so thank you all have a nice day